The Republic of Georgia has always been a country famous for its hospitality and tolerance to other nations and confessions. However, what is going on in this country today may cause you to change your opinion. When this policeman beat us for the first time, I couldn't sleep that night, and we stayed overnight at a different place. We couldn't go home because they were following us, and I realized that I could lose my husband that day. Here, this man has a gun under his shirt. Several men beat me with sticks and bludgeons. I remember one man, a strong one, gave me a kick. He hit me right here. I remember there was a woman with a cell phone. She hit me in the eye and it was swollen for several days. That's what I remember. When on the second or third day I saw that I had many bruises on my body. Some years ago, in the city of Tbilisi, there started a reactionary movement to destroy all non-traditional religions and this movement has been directed by a religious priest by the name of Basili. We were in court of law with this policeman, but not with Basili. The policemen started using him to hide their fault, and later they asked the priest to come to the court. Thus, the whole country of Georgia came to know about Basili. You can see our first lawsuit. Basili is telling the judge that if he doesn't blame the Christians, he will be an enemy of Georgia. The court didn't justify us. We couldn't prove that they had beaten us. But what we had on our video cassette was enough to arrest them. There was a policeman on it, the state authority telling us, I will kill all of you. You are antichrists. Get out of here. However, they told us that in their court they didn't have no electricity and they couldn't view the cassette. This is the judge and the lawsuit we lost. The judge said that uh, we have no right to evangelize. And after this event, uh, they started poisoning people against Christians through mass media. The police in Georgia are corrupt, and all people know about that. They even kill people in the jails, and many people in Georgia hate policemen. The police justify the illegal acts against us with so-called patriotism. These are shots from one of the local TV channels where you can see patriots learning the Bibles in the Armenian language. If you want to describe in short the group headed by Basili, it's an organized mafia structure existing due to the corruption of Georgian police. The police, in turn, are using this group to influence people. The priest Basili himself is not a problem. The problem is that all the machinery of government, all the mass media is closed to all evangelical churches. There are people in Parliament who openly speak on the air and inform the press that Basili is a hero of the nation, and this person is the only one who is able to save the Republic of Georgia. At the moment, the struggle is underway. The struggle is not only for freedom and religion, but is also the struggle in the political circles. We believe that democracy is going to win in the Republic of Georgia. The church, all the churches are praying, and we believe that freedom and religion will reign in Georgia.
I am standing before a painting of Tbilisi, the capital of the Republic of Georgia in the former Soviet Union. In recent years, the believers in the Lord Jesus Christ in this country have come under intense persecution. The Apostle Paul tells us that if one member suffer, we all suffer.